Start by taking the DF10 out of the box, like this. Make sure that the handle is in its locked position. Grab the front and the back of the lid like this and lift it straight out. Do not carry the machine by holding the handle in the front or the rollers in the back. Place the DF10 on the working surface. This should be solid, horizontal and non-slippery. If the DF10 feels wobbly, adjust the feet so that the machine is completely stable. Insert the power cord into the DF10 firmly and plug it into an available electrical outlet. Do not turn the machine on at this stage. Make sure that the roll is put in with the inside of the film facing downwards, as this is the ceiling side of the film. Place the film roll on the rollers in the back. Turning the roll upside down will result in poor sealing and the film may adhere to the heating plate. Pull the film through the DF10 and up over the rubber strip. Align the front edge of the film with the rubber strip and leave it in this position. Insert the required cassette like this. Make sure that the studs are properly set into the holes of the cassette and that the rubber sealing list is facing upwards. Turn on the DF10 and set the appropriate sealing temperature by turning the temperature knob. The lid should be open. The machine now needs to be turned on for at least 15 minutes in order to reach the correct sealing temperature. You are now ready to start sealing the trays. Place the tray in the cassette. Pull out the film over the entire length of the tray. Make sure the handle is in the upright position and close the lid completely. And then lock the lid by turning down the handle. Leave the lid locked for 2 to 5 seconds and then open the lid again. Keep both hands on the handle until the lid is fully open. Do not release the lid on the way up. Remove the sealed tray by pushing it out of the cassette from below and grabbing the rim of the tray. Be careful not to touch the heating plate or the sharp knife. To stow away or move the DF10, turn the machine off and then unplug the power cord. Let the DF10 cool down with the lid open. Remove the film from the back of the machine by simply rolling it back onto the roll. Lift the cassette out of the machine. Use both hands when removing the cassette. Don't yank it out of the DF10 as this may cause it to hit and damage the Teflon coating of the heating plate. Use a damp cloth to wipe the machine off. Make sure that the cloth is only damp and not soaked. Clean the studs that hold the cassette in place thoroughly. Wipe off the cassette holder and make sure that no food is left on the machine. Wipe the outer surfaces. Make sure that the lid has cooled down before wiping it off. Be careful not to get any water into the venting holes on the sides of the lid or into any of the electrical components, such as the power switch, electrical inlet and temperature knob. Where necessary, wipe the DF10 with a dry cloth to remove any excess moisture. Close the lid and secure it in place with the handle. You can now move the machine. Put it back in the box or stow it away as is. Caution. The heating plate and the lid will get hot during operation of the DF10. Be careful not to touch the heating plate or the lid while operating the machine. Only use the handle when closing the lid. The knife that cuts the film is very sharp. Use caution when cleaning. Always use both hands on the handle when closing the lid. Do not place your hands anywhere else on the machine while operating it. Be careful not to squeeze your hands or fingers. There are no user serviceable parts inside the DF10. If you have technical or electrical problems, please contact your Dooney reseller.